graduates, ladies and gentlemen. I think mine will be very short. I don't want to take too long. Uh, but I just want to thank Professor for your insistent, I think that's correct in uh, push. Because I would have given up on the way. But you pushed me until I had no choice but to join you. Um, first of all, I want to thank you for recognizing that there are people with talent, but they never get a chance to actualize themselves. Uh, I just probably just want to tell you about, we in the military do, do a lot of reading, a lot of classwork. I've been in the military for about 38 years. And so you can imagine I'm over 60. Within those 38 years, if I tell you how many hours and days I've been in class, there are very many, including two years of continuous study of National Defense College and, work, and uh, staff college. And you do a lot. One time I tried to get a paper and I went to another university here in Aruhi in Kenya. Just because I was out in the bush, I missed an exam. So I was pushed out. <laughs> but uh, similarly, I also go abroad and I go to give lectures on peacekeeping because I'm a peacekeeper. And when those people look at what I give them and then they ask me, In your, can you put your first slide? There is no degree or anything. And they wonder, how then do you do this? So really, uh, I do agree with you, uh, Pro, that uh, talent can be there, experience can be there, and until you get a paper, probably that is when Kenyans will believe that you are talented. So I want to stop there, and thank you once thank again. You. Thank you.